What is up everybody? Arctic Platypus back here with another Minecraft Zoo video. Over here we're gonna go to the nether, but first let's check out the snack shack. This is a villager just like the homie uh, at the front gate. Teddy was his name. This guy has not quite the amazing deals that Teddy had, but he does have some good food like apples. Look at that. He got some rabbit stew like I was talking about in the normal section video made with rabbits. He's got the cake, the classic cake. Got a cookie too, If in case you want one of those cookies. You can see I already have some in here. I've already bought a lot from this man. He is a homie. He supplies you when you want to go to the nether. He supplies you when you want to go anywhere in the zoo. Also some cooked salmon. I don't need to buy any. I already have some of this, but thank you so much, the other homie, Keith. I'm going to mess with you there. Employees only. Who cares? All right, well, let's go ahead and go to the nether. All right, right off the bat here, you can see we have a ghast. This thing is probably one of the bigger mobs in the game and has some of the creepiest fucking tentacles I've ever seen. It's supposed to be like a ghostly type creature. I don't really know. Anyway, it has some creepy ass cries that go along with it. You can definitely hear one of these, but they can also see you from a distance of over like 100 blocks away pretty brutal they shoot fireballs at you you don't want to mess with these unless you're well prepared to take one on they don't have too much health you might need a bow or something pretty cre creepy guys okay now we're going to move on to the zombie pigmen the neutral creatures of the nether these guys will oh, sorry about that these guys will only attack you and if you attack them but you only have to attack one of them to make them all hostile towards you in a certain vicinity. Pretty nasty guys. Doesn't look like they might be, but they have those golden swords which deal some good damage to you. Now, let's look at the weather skeletons. These guys are just chilling here in a line or something. I don't know what they're doing, but they're three blocks tall. It's a little bit scary to look up to them. Um, they sometimes drop their their skulls, which can be used to craft the Wither Boss. Very useful stuff. Um, they also carry stone swords, and when they hit you, they will apply the Wither effect to you, which makes you lose health and makes them gain the health that you lose, which is kind of brutal. And it makes it f um, a lot more of a fun fight, but it also makes it a lot harder. Over here we got the blazes. These only spawn in nether fortresses at the spawners that spawn them. So these things shoot fireballs at you. Really brutal. Um, they do drop some of the best loot in the game though for potions, which is the blaze rod. You need a lot of them to make some of the potions that you might want. But you gotta be well prepared to fight these things. And then over here we got the magma cube. Um, also drops some good potion ingredients, the magma cream. Um, they behave a lot like slimes in the fact that when you kill one of them, it breaks into smaller pieces and that you're killing the smallest one. But they also are immune to fire like all the other mobs in the nether. Every single mob here is immune to fire and lava and can just walk right through it. But I think there might be uh, a better magma cube down here somewhere. No. Okay, well, there was a magma cube down there a little while ago. But anyway, they can they can spawn in much bigger forms than um, these ones right here. Much, much bigger. And they are not that hard to fight, really. They just have some good potion ingredients. I mean, a lot of the mobs here have good potion ingredients. Blazes, magma cubes, ghasts with their ghast tears. God damn, those creepy-ass tentacles. Anyway... It's coming to the end of the video. Nothing really else here. There's not that many mobs in the nether. So if you want to go check out the other parts of the zoo, go ahead. There'll be a screen at the end leading you to those other parts. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so. If you want to like the video, leave a like. If you want to dislike the video, go ahead and leave a dislike. If you want to mention anything that I missed, I don't think I did, but if there is anything, go ahead and comment. But ultimately, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next video.